February 9, 1945. In the North Sea, about two miles west of the Norwegian island of Faya, two submarines ready for what could be the world's first underwater submarine dogfight. Aboard German U-boat U-864, Ralf Reiner Wolfram orders a series of turns to thwart a torpedo attack. British submarine commander Lieutenant James Launders calculates how to sink a submerged U-boat. If he can work out when the U-boat will turn next, he can plot a torpedo firing pattern that can intersect with where he anticipates the U-boat will be. Launders thinks with this submariner's instinct that any submarine commander, if he hears torpedoes in the water, is going to dive. Therefore, he will put at least one of his torpedoes, if not more, below where he thinks the submarine is already, because then the submarine will dive into the torpedo. When the U-boat turns to starboard, Launders starts a two-minute countdown. Up, Periscope. He had his men ready a spread of four torpedoes. Launders has created his plan to work at different depths to create a three-dimensional firing pattern. He gives the order. Fire! The first torpedo erupts from the submarine. Wolfram gives the order to evade, hard to starboard and down. Fire! The second and third torpedoes dart toward the U-boat. There's only one torpedo left. Fire! And Wolfram has already gone deep. The final torpedo streaks through the water and slams into the U-boat's side. The inrush of water into the submarine is so rapid. The U-boat's flooded midsection immediately becomes heavier than the bow and stern. The U-boat snaps and falls to the sea floor. The sinking of U-864 is the only acknowledged submarine to submarine submerged kill of the Second World War. In the Royal Navy, in the years after the war, Landers was a legend for having pulled off a remarkable kill. By showing it can be done, HMS Venturer opens up a whole new chapter, not just in submarine warfare, but in naval warfare as well.